sustainable infrastructure and energy is explicitly included in the sustainable development goals. Yes. And I'm wondering why the focus on this now from your perspective and what this might mean for, for the long term. Yeah, we believe, Kelly, that, uh, that the moment momentum is, uh, is shifting. Um, uh, very clear right now. Uh, there's several reasons for it, but one of the main reasons is that the way we generate power and distribute uh, energy to uh, houses um, um, or, or manufacturers is, is changing uh, dramatically. Mm. Uh, we're moving from a centralized, uh, one-way power generation distribution model to a much more decentralized model. We call it the energy cloud. Um, and as the energy cloud evolves, customers will have more choices um, to uh, generate their own power, to buy power that is cleaner, that is greener. Uh, and, we, and we will believe that, uh, that that will fundamentally change the way look, people look at sustainability as part of energy uh, infrastructure uh, at, the glo at the global scale. Can you explain some of those investments and what kind of changes those are making for energy infrastructure? Sure. Um, there's, there's a couple of, of examples. Um, uh, right now, uh, in many cities of, of, of the world, uh, smart meters are being installed at, at people's houses. Uh, and what smart meters really do is uh, give visibility into um, usage of power. Um, and it also allows um, the utilities to respond much quicker and faster to interruptions of power. <clears throat> so if there's a storm or if there's, a, there's an event, um, then smart meters will actually help detect the outages and, and repair uh, the outages quicker. M making the grid smarter is, um, is, a, is a big area of investment. Um, and then there's you know other technologies like rooftop solar, where you know um, I become a prosumer of, of power. I, I produce my own power. I can sell it back to a storage facility in in my neighborhood, and my neighbor who doesn't have a solar installation on his uh, roof can actually buy power that I generated from you know the storage facility in the neighborhood. So those type of technologies are appearing as well, which again is part of you know the decentralized model, the energy cloud. And some of these <coughs> technologies that you're mentioning seem like they would be a great addition in a developing nation. And especially I'm thinking a smart city, what if, what if in a less infrastructure rich you know, city right now, we started implementing some of these really smart technologies? Is that, is that too soon? Can you kind of are you, can you no, can I skip all those steps? I, I think it's an interesting concept. We talk a lot about that. Um, uh, most of the urbanization over the next you know, 50 years will happen in developing countries. Um, that's where the growth uh, of the cities uh, will actually occur. Um, uh, the great benefit is that these cities don't have an old infrastructure like London or New York or Amsterdam. Uh, so it's a lot easier to build infrastructure that is smarter, uh, that is built um, uh, based on these, on these principles. So I think those um, uh, countries and those cities are actually in a huge advantage. Mm. I think what has been lacking so far is, um, is funding and means to actually you know, pilot some of these technologies and some of these concepts uh, in those developing countries.